Hello and welcome. The focus of this video is to understand the setup of the offset surface type local refinement under the Create Local Refinement Regions task in ANSYS Fluent Meshing Watertight Workflow. Let's get started. The watertight meshing workflow lets the user create body of influence or BOI type refinement regions using the create local refinement regions task. One of the ways of creating a refinement region through this task is by using the offset surface type. Using this type, one can define multiple levels of BOIs that resemble the shape of the selected object. Let's now see how we can set up this task. Load the provided geometry into the watertight workflow through the import geometry task using the default settings. Here we have a concept card placed inside an enclosure which acts as the fluid domain and can be used for performing external aerodynamic type analysis. For this demo, we will not be using any local sizing, so leave the option to know in the add local sizing task and hit update. The create local refinement regions task is not one of the default tasks in the watertight workflow. In order to include it, right click on the add local sizing task to access its task specific context menu. And from the insert next task menu, select create local refinement regions as shown here. This new task is placed immediately after add local sizing task in the workflow. In this task, in the drop down menu, you can choose between two options box and offset surface. Let's explore the offset surface type in a bit more detail. When offset surface is selected, the user first needs to define the mesh size and the geometry from the object selection panel. Note that the selected object must be a closed entity. We will discuss the mesh size parameter a bit later. There are a few additional inputs the user needs to provide in the offset parameters section. First, the flow direction needs to be picked. This is to ensure that the weight levels, which we will look at in a bit, are grown in the correct direction. Next, a D feature size needs to be provided, which basically is the size of the facets used to create the offset surface from the selected geometry. A smaller size means the offset shape will more closely resemble the shape of the selected geometry. Usually, a coarse representation is sufficient. Two types of BOIs can be created using the offset surface type, boundary layer levels and weight levels. The boundary layer levels are surfaces created by scaling the surface of the selected geometry equally in all directions with respect to the centroid of the selected geometry. The boundary layer height defines the offset distance of the farthest boundary layer level from the geometry. The boundary layer levels parameter defines the number of regions that are created within this height. If more than one level is specified, each level will have equal width but a different mesh size. Weight levels are like the boundary layer levels, except that they are not equally scaled in all the directions. These are primarily used to create BOIs with extended domain in the downstream or the wake region of the selected geometry. Here is an illustration of how scaling works for the wake levels. First, the length of the body from its center to the outermost boundary layer level is calculated in both upstream and downstream directions. Subsequently, the offset distance for each of the wake levels is calculated using these length values, the wake growth factor and cross wake growth factor. The wake growth factor and the cross wake growth factor control the offset in downstream and cross wake directions respectively using the formulae shown here. For both the boundary layer levels and the wake levels, the mesh size parameter is used to define the sizing of each level, which increases by a factor of two 
between successive levels. For example, if we define one boundary layer level and one weight level for our geometry with a mesh size of 20, the boundary layer level will be meshed with a size of 40 and the weight level with a size of 80. Follow the steps as shown here and create the volume mesh. Here is the generated volume mesh. You can clearly see the influence of the two local refinement regions. That brings us to the end of this video where we learned about the offset surface type local refinement region that can be defined in the ANSYS Fluent Meshing watertight workflow and its setup.